Let's keep it Gucci. We're going to get really Gucci in this because we're going to talk about jurisdiction. Jurisdiction, hands down, is your best friend in these situations because typically when a woman gets pregnant and she's in the city by herself, she's going to uh, try to go back home. She's going to try to gravitate toward her mother if she had a good mother or some family figure because she's going to feel alone. Now, frequently, you've met many women who are moved here to Atlanta or moved somewhere else, and the husband or the, the father of the kids is in another state. This is very common. Now, my situation, she left Georgia. She moved to New York. Well, she said she moved to New York because she still had a job here. She had an apartment here when she said she moved. But jurisdictionally, and there are there's a litmus test of how she can get child support from you when she's in another state. Now, here's the wrinkle, because, you know, first you, know, you had to be in the state, blah, blah. But it's like number five. If you forced her to move, this is why the number of abuse claims in child support cases are so high, because the government says if he forced her to move, then therefore, even if she's in another state, we, the federal government, will grant this state jurisdiction over the guy. Well, here's a little wrinkle here. The night, two days before she left the state, she assaulted me. I called the police. I've told the story. I just didn't get really deep with it. And I was holding Madison when she cocked back a bottle and came at me. I want you to think about that. I was seated holding a two and a half month old child. And because the thing is, she had postpartum depression, which she did not get treated for. So I got her off me, one armed it, holding the baby. Call 911, not once, but twice to stay on the phone until they got there. Now, little did I know that that would be very, very important going down the road. So let's fast forward to that point. She's up in New York and she's trying to get money out of me. And there's justice. There's, uh, in New if you're in the state of New York, there are judges and there are magistrates in child support court. Magistrates are a court appointed attorneys who kind of act like judges but they're not judges. And we had this magistrate, right? And this is what this magistrate did. She said, I want you to go to the seventh floor and file a restraining order against him. Now, what she did was she rendered legal advice from the bench. That's a big no, no judges can lose their job for that. So I'm like, well, you know, that's funny. Because she has a criminal case for assaulting me pending down here in Georgia. And then the master, she's still pushing. She's like, was it in New York? No, I've never been New York. I never stepped foot in New York. And she was silent for 56 seconds because she had stepped in it. And she was so shocked that she transferred us to another magistrate. Well, I wrote a 14 page summary to the administration branch of New York complaining about her. And last time I checked, she's not there anymore. I don't know if my thing got her fired. I feel it did. Because once again, as a man, you don't know your rights. So let's go back to she moved because you did something to her. Since I filed a police report and there was no police report against me, that didn't work. So there was no way that she could say that I made her move when she attacked me. Very, very important stuff. So get to the next magistrate. I state my case. Dismissed. So the thing is, you have to use established contract law. If you're trying to establish new case law, this can be very, very dicey. It can be very expensive, but a contract between two people that is equitable and fair is legally enforceable. Now, she did not dismiss my case with prejudice, which is what I asked, which means she could not file for child support in the state of New York, but it was dismissed. So I have no pending child support case. There are no one's collecting any money from me. And I'm going to get into the next video of why this is very, very important. And why you as a man need to make sure that you get this stuff handled.